And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning, everyone. We saw lots of rain yesterday. In fact, we actually broke a single day precipitation record in, Pocot in the Pocatello area. We saw over, over a half an inch of rain yesterday, which has prompted some flood warnings across Idaho. There's a flood warning in effect until 3 o'clock today, and this is for Blaine, Butte, Clark, Cluster, Fremont, and Madison counties for today. And that's because with all that rain on top of the snow that was already there, will cause rapid snow melt, which can cause those rivers to overflow and cause some general flooding on the streets. There's a flood advisory in effect until 10 o'clock this morning, and that's for Bingham and Bonneville counties across the Snake River Plain. Now getting a look and seeing where all that rain is right now, it really moved out of our area during the overnight. Maybe some isolated to even scattered showers are likely when you're heading out the door this morning with rather overcast skies. But the good news is the skies will clear out and we will be able to see some sunshine. Unlike yesterday, it was really gloomy with all that rain out there. But getting a look at the satellite radar from a wider point of view, we're seeing that next storm system which could move into our area and impact the Snake River Plain and all of Idaho for this weekend, which could give us some rain and snow showers across the Snake River Plain. Now, as I time out any precipitation across the Snake River Plain for today, around 9 o'clock this morning, we're dry. We have some clouds left over in the sky, but notice by about lunchtime, the skies clear out. We're expecting pretty much lots of sunshine as we move throughout the day today, even right around the lunch hour. But then as we move into the afternoon hours, we could see some scattered, very scattered uh, rain showers across the Pope Tello Blackfoot area just east of town, even by Soda Springs, perhaps for the higher elevations. Maybe some snow could mix in with that. And even across the central mountains, some very scattered snow showers are possible. But generally for the daytime hours today, it should really be a nice day out there with partly cloudy skies. As we move into the evening hours, we will see some clouds build into our area with even a chance for a slight rain shower just west of American Falls. As far as temperatures go right now, we're pretty mild across the Snake River Plain. We're seeing 30s with some areas even in the 40s to start off the morning out there. It's 38 degrees right now in Pocatello, 40 in both American Falls and Blackfoot, and 39 degrees right now in Idaho Falls and Rexburg to start the morning out there. For this afternoon, though, it's going to be a great day out there pretty much compared to yesterday. We're seeing temperatures generally in the 50s with partly cloudy skies today. We'll have a high temperature of 55 in Pocatello, 54 in American Falls, 52 degrees today for your high in Blackfoot. And as we look ahead to this evening, temperatures out there not too chilly. We're generally seeing the 30s across the Snake River Plain. Looks like the Central Mountains will be in the 20s for tonight. It'll be 29 in Arco, 26 in Mackey, and 29 degrees in Chalice. Let's have a look at that seven-day forecast. For the Pocatello area for this evening and for today, expect a high temperature of 55 degrees with a slight chance for a rain shower. Rain and snow showers are likely for tomorrow. Temperatures drop out by about 10 to 11 degrees, and it could be rather windy at times. We'll see some snow showers linger Sunday into Monday, but looking ahead to next week, looks like temperatures temperatures will be back into the mid to upper 50s. For the Idaho Falls area, your seven day forecast, partly cloudy skies are likely for today. It'll be breezy at times with a high temperature of 50 degrees. Tomorrow we're back into the 40s with rain and snow showers likely, and it could also be windy at times with some snow showers lingering into Sunday. Across the Teton area, Jackson, Afton, and Driggs, slight chance for a snow shower today. A more consistent snow is possible for Saturday, even lingering in to the start of next work week on Monday with mostly sunny skies likely for Tuesday. And then across the central mountains for Salmon, Chalice, and Mackie, expect partly cloudy skies today and the chance for some snow showers this weekend with temperatures in the 40s.